Contention one is meritocracy. One, this class, the aptitude has used misly called the SAT represents the educational paradigm shift in seven. Testing required on the SAT for plans to test intellectual ability still for. Let's run people the educational terms of our self paradigms paradigm of meritocracy. Contention is paradigm is involved on the essential of the ability. It's simple compilation of the SAT was the instrument of meritocracy, but what happens when the paradigm is raised up? Test scores can suddenly channel after university lower. The lower group of education that alienates from education higher. Higher to dry, drop out, raising respiration rates, and unemployment just reflects the African American need for educational system. But we have two educational systems there on equal day bringing barriers. They may be a paradigm use of the of human ability, too. This is a sham because of the SAT's objective. Scientific task max, its social and political role, the service society in a worthy, non worthy class. So, it's our 18. This is where we've been objective measurements. A little bit of objective measurements are probably the original song. The SAT's way to challenge the way this means. The American Senate familiar with the myth of meritocracy serves the July Delgate of purpose of capitalism. The dynasty exists to structural issues like inequality in the set of the issues about individual efforts. And the myth is just basic inequality. The ideologies are in education. The SAT question system with the advantage weights. So, we're asking the Tito's that's designated to create inequality and benefits. Our capitalism is testing industry and promoting liberal individuals with the problems out with the starting mechanism of policy distortions. And all three, this predictive paradigm is a holdover from the eugenic movements focused on aptitude rather than Subject masters to cover for racial exclusion source. Twelve universities developed the ICD's alternative testing, making um, asking the, 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 the testing the capacity that make the, the test and that higher education IQ generally for all the in this city was interested in uh, it was the NIQ uh, that would measure the intellectual aptitude of the subject master did not work to predict grades and for definitely the test can be reformed as the two tests are designed to produce a bell curve in order to be standardized. Uh, the A O eighteen the SAT was graded by Maria who believes that different races and are relatively more intelligent than as well as the SAT make for each generic races are so the same uh, purpose as uh, of a sort of human population but you has scores value and to uh, low scores undervalued the SAT builds the inequality of the the process of SAT sets uh, has to this question selection is helpful and racially biased but the process creates a self-reinforcing cycle of uh, race and inequality the SAT is a colorblind racism officially neutral but empirically reproduced and reproduced the racialized outcome the SAT is in a source of human population like a perception but the SAT as an extent directed to be gendered moves in this way the SAT is required to produce inequality and race capitalism and the SAT uniquely trusts the human population that race question comes no surprise before this goes beyond education the SAT is out to the second predicted human population is source of society that are in time world that it's a dream of total control even 99 with the SAT in terms of the country uh, the country says the SAT yes it's become the world's ignoring the use of the uh, IQ test the system of breaking people who are supposed to be exposed to more than the worth in the source and saying, oh, we're going to be on moving on after the new era test. First, but achieve a new access understanding of a whole section of the human ability, the founding of the up here to the ETS represents power across all fields. The just with Manhattan Project is looking at the ETS with the code of mind of it, help with map and the code of personalities, and find the impact of securitization and endless interventions in 1997. These are the best things are known, but luxury goals is the related to formulation of security and control of risk control predicted ability to the interventions offered to the possible domain managing international politics as history suggests that they need an interest in illusion of the world of power suggests all the same measures of purchase to be deserved to be taken more seriously and some inequality is the biggest source of preventable death. We must prioritize its reduced uh, rates reduction and sell seventeen that doesn't kind of balance this one uh, group that works is good to research and other operating in the other group social lines given the death is a product of inequality when it comes to how uh, commercial that disasters and plenty of disasters even worse than than sixty thousand like the life commercial because of inequality or in income inequality single agents of related day inequality wrong because we have the means of fixing aid is meritocracy is the life of the capitals and its ideological structure. Uh, crucial to extend away the system of failings without it will collapse well on nineteen if it was right though we're widely perceived capitalism and banish capitalism and I'll blame normal on meritocracy the merit ideology function the uh, defense for capitalism and merit to logic those offer no jobs in the limited and self meritocracy in the educational system keep these in IK systems he plays with uh, within our important because able to throw the pencil on the employment bad jobs is insufficient it comes out not blame on capitalism and on the structure the system that had been so blamed on those, uh, those systems didn't have to have a long ago measure to be daring the blame for capitalist failures as the plan in the United States colleges and universities I'm not considered the SAT and ACT and undergraduate admissions decisions can to but down your pencils won the same nice like the SAT are justified in the liberal appeal that there's no alternative this is when uh, the education reform that focuses on small scale projects that uh, can address social inequality the SAT is a radical idea control from educational pedagogy away from uh, focus on ability within the 18th. This festival can address in the social economic conditions and improvements among the uh, privileged group that not be generally sensible below the best cities for the of a world of the management marriage by management charge to the SAT. Yeah. I think the test is somehow worse of best option for the misfortune and the problem with that down to the idea that we must have some work in the way. And the first system is uh, where we play the uh, test the test admissions measures multi day interviews without uh, applications for once that we're working in the testing and, and curriculum development and industry of PSAT keep uh, about using the students the best, uh, the best way argument for the SAT that the examination remains still limited under the certain mechanisms of presented with much sure than any education. Offer nothing into the college admissions and powerful signals to society about what is valid. Talking with admissions, this is 
support the city and not input MCCP. 16 days culture submission, but emphasis of the personal system and investment of the summit. We stream this commitment all day. There's a single answer. Culture mission can be a world ambitious. A person of least submission. The way culture's value, culture's influence behavior. And it's supposed to be a good deal. It's a student's message. And it can exacerbate singular focus on achievement. Already we committed to other culture's mission. It's good. A generally positive achievement to the young guy. Of people's ethical commitments and mission to this. And the message to the students that other schools are committed are at the heart of the ethical decision. We also work in the leading access of academic performer question. How are we defining achievement? We recognize these recommendations will be right. I'll make sure it's a of the complex so we cannot bring about change unless educational institutions that you value some threes be highly skeptical protesting arguments and testing industrial complexes is waging a propaganda war to justify existing inequalities turn into 18 report controls of measuring systems but public test well outside to the testing industry argues that test obstacles are seen to need patients to the deeper purpose and assess this world relationship with people of power efficiency and it'll be an excuse to maintain a false system from academics and false theories people taking the move that the standard assessor of better predicting college outcomes even standard assessor for if they predicted achievement that we'll be doing some basis of accumulated research that have helped children improve their background and to stop turning away students from the higher education because the backgrounds are not afford them the same opportunity we have an inherent society will agree because the time has come that and this is something they call the ending the use of standardized tests with one way one of the ways we can do so and forward reject hyperbolic like, uh, justification for seeing the one I see trying to assume that uh, anti-testing movement for still uh, the positive educational change for anti-15 talking coverage of those predicting your heart from getting kept from this singular usher uh, I carried out by the uh, instant of uh, co-press American standardized testing where opposing schools should not predict our children do annihilation but they predict them for the education among our experts and anti-test testing the fact that yeah, vaccinating children to, uh, get the uh, deadly infectious disease that any of the tests would end teachers do something that end teachers end teachers school that education should be seen Putting the evidence of test one, they would go to the home or something, the cold warrior, they do on a different track. They're engaging in civil disobedience, they're refusing to participate. The current test is that the school culture just, uh, simply doesn't uh, allow for this trust and collaboration. In fact, we must uh, struggle to push over the educational problems of ending educational institutions. These enable attack on level public, uh, public lesbian impacts of the teaching means 14. Educa educational power finish at launch product of breakaway from the educational theory capitalism, self revolution, in order to overcome various present, uh, scrambling capital, the academy, and close education are symptomatic against work across the center educational authority. How can save a place outside the country to teach confrontations? Mark the card of confrontations. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what's the terminal impact they have? Um, we would say that inequality is a pretty bad impact. Okay, so the dolly card, while talking about securitization and endless intervention, how does ending the SAT and ACT prevent people from ever being categorized? Sure, it's kind of the idea of predictive and knowing things. I like We predicted that our intervention in Iraq would be a good thing. We tried to know things. Wait, so, from, so we end military interventions through ending SAT? No, so 1AC has not made a claim of ending like interventions globally. Rather, we have critiqued the logic that applies to the SAT that has led to those interventions. Uh, okay, so what, what, how does inequality manifest itself in the context of the SAT? Um, that, like, dis it disproportionately afflicts African American youth to, like, deny them access to higher education. Of course, students get worse okay. and worse scores. There's uh, multiple examples. Alright, let's talk about the, uh, so, like, a lot of these cards are talking about, like, the history of the SAT. No, like, But a lot of them are talking about, like, the SAT was correlated with the IQ test, etc. But, like, where I mean, there are arguments in the a in like the one AC that like the SAT was birthed out of like the IQ eugenics movement, where we have to like stratify human populations into like high scoring value people who get who deserve access to higher education. I, I guess I'm asking. I, I guess I'm asking like the SAT has changed a lot since the nineties. So well, are, like, yeah. So, so like what I was getting at earlier, there are cards talking about the creation of the SAT, but there are also many cards talking about the Can SAT. Can you give me an example quo. of like? You're, like some of the cards, yeah, I read the cards. Sure, they talk about like how in the status they talk about like how the SAT strict questions are structured and stuff. Can you give me like an example of a question of the SAT that would be indicative of its past racist history? Yeah, there'd be questions that are like analogy in the analogy section, like X is to Y is Y is to Z. It'd be like regatta is like rowing as polo is like horseback. Like I don't even know what that sport is called, but things that are only accessible to like white rich kids that the poor minorities would never be able to get right Wait, because they didn't so have. So the access terminal access. impact to the F is that people read stuff about like horseback riding and um, that No, again, I still think you misunderstand our claim. We have made a critique about the structure of academia and like the neoliberal is like testing industry of the SAT. Those are things that we resolve. We resolve inequalities within us. Uh, okay. Um, let's, all right, on the, uh, what, what is, what, uh, let's talk about the testing industrial complex. Where, uh, where in the card does it like say anything specific about like um, the Hernandez system? card is in the context of the measuring success article, which was published by many scholars tied to the testing industry who has who have a monetary incentive to write incentive to write articles to like okay, allow so for the science like one, it cites like one test. Where does the card make a claim that like that every protest article? What do you mean one wait, test? Wait, it's, it's I mean it cites one report. Where in the card is it? Um, I about, disagree. Like, how a it makes a claim globally from academics to policymakers. Uh, to policymakers, people are mistakenly believing this due to the flawed assumptions and like the mis like represented data that like the college board and college administrations pay to like necessitate its existence. Wait, where does it say they pay the college board? Or the uh, college board pays them? 
That's what the entire article is about. Uh, okay, that's, I'll send you out the doc. The order is three off case. Interpretation, the utmost defense that colleges and universities in the United States ought to consider no standard assessment for undergraduate admission standard assessment as existential legal 19. Consider USC ought to consider standard assessment in admission supposed to be USC ought not to consider as SEC with no standard assessment. This would entail the USC ought to consider standard assessment in admission standard assessment in existential rear plural, negating an existential is universal legal 19. Unicycles don't have wheels and would have to argue that unicycles don't have any wheels and that are some wheels that unicycles don't have because the nation of the existential statement is a universal statement that exists. If standard assessment is existential, the resolution means that colleges and universities ought to consider no standard assessment. They, that they include the SAT. ACT, PSAT, and AB Kaplan. The exam is AP. There are 37 different standards. Separate by standards, single subject AB exam. I, I mean, IB the goal is BSAT, MN, SS, QD, SAT, the SAT subject test, the standards, where SAT test have goals to evaluate the subject knowledge, ACT, SAT, or SAT scores are interchangeably. Violation that just depends on SAT and ACT. Vote negative one, persistent first. The topics of the site of pre round research and prep two, limits of ground, like inspecting, any 26 topics of text, but was risk neck, then rec neck, prep because there are marginal differences in the advantage of the data type ground, like AB college credits or TOEFL, English skills, which are just some of the few net generics when the aspect of just picks don't solve at least absurd conclusions since the net can be, be, potentially be a use of the aspect justified by not being not being to use competing interests you can't be reasonably topic and topical and it's key to setting norms that's all Counterplant text, the United States should print $1 quadrillion in money and circulate it overnight. Current study of student debt makes the economy vulnerable to collapse with RE35. Student loan debt conditions constitute a bubble in order to collapse. Second wages and predatory loan administration exasperated the problem. Analysts do not believe that student loan market will collapse in the fact that consumers will be frenzied for making purchases to have a collective drag on the economy. A student loan can continue to grow. can absolutely no control back on the world. There might not be a current, currently be a student loan crisis or situation will get worse time. The time to prevent a civil crisis is now. The plan leads to a massive influx of loan consumers who can't afford college for a minute. What college allows students who can't Applied without a test worth as a member of a, a mass number of students who are enrolled in crisis students who are more likely to take advantage of the choice not to submit the reports that are likely to come for low income students that are so cost of uh, low income students that apply without a worth of test option and policies are more correlated with increasing level of need among the needy students and meaning more money. Low income students attend less selective institutions now decreasing collective loans of pay skyrockets their student debt both them for the workforce and increases the likelihood of default over state five twenty two. Low income students that are attending selective universities have been expanded by their role in the system like the low income students are likely to take some student loans on the so the students will borrow will grow growth they attend a four year institution or rather than a community college alone, some students are more likely to take a loan to the undergraduates who are less likely to work when enrolled. Student loans decimate economic growth, depress demand, and crushes consumer spending. Or method 14. Student loan debt grown more than 150% of the core here is more than loans. It can be taken out being hit with fees and penalties. At the 05, the student loans accounted for 30% of the total debt today. The student loans are sliced up to total buy, triple, uh, total debt, tripled, and more than inflation. The student loan market is so big, fitly depressed demand for rewards credit and down consumption. The debt has a serious impact on finances. 70% of our economy comes from consumer spending. There is a significant demographic. The very limited ability to see weak demand creates economic growth. And the next economic crisis will cause global conflict. Louis 11 13. The next economic crisis will cause global conflict. Rising income inequality as well. Constantly determine major military conflict. OA all owns a bank from the military monetary fact. We reveal that vulnerabilities in the real economy. Decade is a really good blitz of power to stabilize the stability of the economy. The problem periods of economic violence, violence, like antipathy towards minority groups and field terrorism or wars, but the conversation should not be taken lightly. Social and resident diplomatic sanctions all over the system that fail. Policy secure points for a potential for, for a fear of crisis. Multi letters are increasingly being executed. Next up. Counterpoint tax. High schools in the United States ought to adopt the universal requirement that every high school student takes a standardized college and admissions test free of charge on a during school hours. Administer universal mandatory practice exam in preparation for such tests and implement some measures for colleges to consider such tests and undergraduate admissions tests in Sultan and Wally Y. All in 19. SAT, ACT, we're under the universal requirement that every high school student should take a more standardized college admission test free of charge during the school hours of other mandatory practice or tell them that there's any differences in preparation or preliminary like student studies by the mind. Maybe taking a practice test that increases schools on a final test, even after other preparation activity, if the universal test being identified, high ability candidate. 
and disadvantage back on 3 and be advised on how to take advantage of the financial aid programs that better apply to and better and have attend better school than they would otherwise. It solves better in peer center to 18. And it doesn't say that ACT or SAT is now given to school for free on school day or in school or sitting for their assessment required of the students can't offer, which is a low expectation or result of the shift in policy that share between the high income, high school or the students taking a college after the camera is from 5.4% of the year, like any average as a result of the policy more than those students went to and graduated from four year colleges. The story of Michigan is accurate in Maine and Illinois and Colorado that have taken these tests and voluntary many challenges to many students will go and detect it. Case page. For some in-depth, I'd like contextualize that evidence. In fact, the card reference is one book, but that's not even where evidence is from. There's no intact to how questions can be structured. Care more concerned with solving problems than caring about worrying. No one remembers them the day afterwards. War and extinction turns structural violence. It forecloses free all future value and leads to resource disparities, price hikes, and poor communities are battleground. Stat and stats go neg. Overall consensus that tests have a neg dual impact on diversity. Sid Kunzel on PhD and stack of PhD 19. Recent research have demonstrated the test out of been enrolled increasingly diverse to your body, but the team is true. Schools are required tests, and we examine an example of 100 percent college with a total. 1,403 students in the social class of the world series in favor of the applicable test scores and often in order role differences in skill and investment in the course of many years cannot be overcome quickly. And holistic assessments are stacked in favor of release of bar 18. Holistic methods evaluating students, students are emphasis on top of student activities, essays, and letters, direct applicant pairs, and more greater ability to provide opportunities for extracurricular activities. Students are more likely to be certified by the library or poor or have a little college. Students are more likely to easily prove that a good testing, that a coaching, that a test score standard, that test test service is one of the bulwark to great inflation. The phenomenon is trust rate at the top of wider, more affluent schools and private schools, and we're seeing more great inflation than wider. Poor in public schools and private schools were raised in a bloody nearly three times greater than public. Public and private schools have a financial incentive to please parents. And specifically, abolition of standardized testing causes a shift in GPA focus that works in proximate forms of native bullying. Melter 18. Uh, admissions are devoid of ACT or ACT shorter when you are heavily reliant on transcripts. Here, will the students better off because they have access to advanced classes but also higher grades. The GPA at private schools doing fine for the 1998 and 2018% in the plus state public schools are hardly budget. Testing alternatives exacerbate inequities and decrease access to eight accurate little 19. Alternative transcripts with extra grade letters of activities and letters of rec would do little students with disadvantaged backgrounds have been educated in the schools who cannot compete in terms of their course of pounds at Apple and public or independent school players. Check extra goal years and ex national trips as well admissions officers who source are interested to their attention that the students Schools barely have an F desk for varsity teams. The student standard assessing is the best way to compete on equal footing. Disadvantaged students rely on much age as possible. Applicants may have a disadvantage with disturbance from merit based agent. Sports and legacy admissions are all, all causes. Scapegoating center assess fails and backfiles. Months are 18. There are sports and disadvantaged in the group whose achievement is highly correlated with income. It commits to committee on sitting and warning that some students' academic learning achievement may be hard due to other coaching. Other students can't afford what about legacy admission. And this was sick around two systemic distance where media every aspect of an admissions that standard is for tests are only one piece of a much larger picture. And colleges have reverse incentives created worse than equality. And equality that's a huge all cause. Well, sorry, team. College at the bottom line to consider all of the wealthiest or needs of where giving average advantage of health students students to take advantage of steps to protect their yield. One way is an early decision of but applicants must be set academically, which requires a strong advertising, something less privileged applicants are less likely to have that privileged applicants attend in schools that have a history of sending students to college and providing counselors. So it's all gradually offered lobby for admissions circulation between college admissions and school of counseling as one of the most scandalous aspects of the admissions process. Colleges should barely manage applicants and already even what they do with 30,000 more. Our officers are only human that we take shortcuts to make staff judges and biases would inevitably creep in. Uh, you read everything? Yep. Okay. Um, on the dis side, you've read that tests are good for increasing under like poor people, and on the case you've read it's bad. How do you reconcile this concept? Uh, it said that it leads it said that it leads to more people applying and more people like potentially. Well, no, the schools have limits on the amount of people they can accept. One of these two things is true. Either more pure, poor people get accepted or less poor people get accepted. Which one is it? Uh I think I think our best piece of evidence would be the Kunzel and Stackett, which says that for, which, like which says that there's very little correlation between the two. So there's now no disad link and no turns case. We say that it would probably be an, we'd say that it probably was still linked because it increases the far amount of applications that happen. So but it doesn't increase the amount like, of spots the colleges have. We say that what would happen was in the result of the app, like it makes it so that they a, a lot more force is apply. Um, that's um, fine. So Status of the counter plan. Condo. Okay. Um. The violation, PA, SATs are not considered in undergraduate admissions, it's solely the SAT and the ACT. I guess my question is, what? Uh, so we is? said that, so Kaplan references 37 different types of, uh, like, uh, exam, like 37 different types of exams. It talks about AP exams are standardized tests that can be, uh, like, looked at when they're looking at colleges. Wait, no, Kaplan like, says so that there are 37 said standardized that they're, tests. Oh, they says that there are, yeah, they look at, I, there are tons of different standardized tests. There are AP tests, there are IB, PSAT, uh, SAT subject tests. Uh, like, like uh, NMS, SAT. Um, 
Okay, that's fine. The turns, this is all in the context of things that already exist. I guess, how is it net worse, the app net worse than the status uh, We make arguments as to why standardized tests are good, because it allows them to compete against uh, the, because it says that it allows them to correct for that. So standardized tests are good because, because it, it gives them a fighting shot. Because like, it helps like poor people get a it's fighting shot. It's said because like Dewar says that it's like a necessary will work against like things like rate inflation because they have an equal opportunity. Okay, so it helps poor people get in, but then you're just actually that's fine. The counter plan, um, uh, how does it solve any of the app? Um, because when kids have like because when kids take an exam beforehand. Uh, and they get prep and when they take an exam beforehand, it helps increase their familiarity. It also makes it. How is taking one test different than like co like tutoring every single week? Uh, so it says that they're free of charge, so they can basically take as many SAT exams as they want. It says that they have mandatory practice exams, so they can basically get in like all the preparation they need. And it also uh, and yeah, and there it cites examples of states where that happened and uh, increase diversity. Um, that's fine. I'm a, just a little confused by the dissent. Is the argument that poor people shouldn't go to college? Uh, it's a bit more nuanced than that. It says that, it's like... poor people shouldn't it go to college that, like, it says, I mean, that, that, I mean, like, it's, it would be, like, you should, like, it's, like, for example, like, that's, like, saying, like, like, I mean, it's a logical fact that some, like, some people cannot afford college as much. So, so therefore, they shouldn't go. It makes us claim that it would be bad for the economy. If, if poor people went to college. Okay. Well, I mean, like, how the climate would suck for poor people. Um, case T counter plan is uh No cause if we solve the worst and biggest manifestation of inequality within the college admissions process. Group their DeBoer and saying, and could tell they work for the testing industry, and this is exactly what they're <gasps> criticizing. They pay scholars to misrepresent data and inflate their numbers to make them look worse. The shift's up. No shift for moving test fields over and moves away from the paradigm that we must bring in the first season. There's some shift in the app is a step in the right direction and creates momentum. This is conceded at the AZ that there is an anti testing movement right now. The test when the app is uniquely key to push it over. Not contest the one and see shift is good. The SD is uniquely bad because it's a predictive ability to turn out in terms of measure of future potential, which is needful as confidence and mentally liberals. And it's non unique colleges are used. The other evaluated students which means it's just a non unique argument and defense and also. This is an offense for them. They just say bad. This, uh, this is bad, but we solve the worst proximate impact, which makes it try to argue that because of the SAT's worst. Also, alternatives are uh, alternatives are better than the SAT's worst. Well, to the to the to the to the to the to the reflection, the license fairness, non cognitive system reform, a statistically better is predicting the reason that a college retention without any sense of test, a scores are graphs and not in a single time of the transmitting uh, equalities and minorities are more likely uh, to the uh, GPA discovery. The means of the plan increases diversity. Sanchez, 18. There has been a remarkable consistency in identifying numbers, which is no more likely to display a discrepancy. The students have found that the students who have higher AGSBA than the test. 
was that I sent peace to the limited blue. Can only personal picture the man with blue. Can assume skin to say that he's easy to moderate agent. GSGSBA nation, GSB nation, country is more likely to have a lower socioeconomic status than the than the SEC to the NT counter trip. Yes, it's not so that all standards that they're working with those local engineers such as other cities such as Joe's other than the other such as General Clinton on local more engineers didn't use that. It's using a definite team. It was an automatic association called on beyond the 11 for you. I did not give your house foods of heaven on every way of giving you food as a woman. You made the under the worst of the poor harm is that us to the goddess and since the and us in access were first only the SAT and ACT West Virginia University teams and access were first the SAT or ACT and their generic is accessed in plural because the second of the sentence has a modifier standardized testing for third graders would not be tolerable. It's proof that it's not all standardized testing to manage the floor, not the ceiling, fair percent of ground, not definition, license, jurisdictions, nonsense, just vote for non-top class all the time in class, different college, different types of requirements, and no one writes out any all standardized tests with no one says they prevent in depth debates and kills ground. Also, their interpolation is picked because there's over 100 colleges and tons of different standardized tests, which means their interpretation will cause the same debates just in the room reverse. But you should prefer them this way because the negative deal with someone can have kids via generics, but the app can deal with picks and their limits, all this one children to check. There's like literally one app on two apps on this topic in generics. Actually, did shift this before kind of like kids of education cap they could all engage in non unique ACT and ACT are the core of the topic in terms of they're good uh, and able to make some puzzle reasonably key to uh, preserve a substance and deter for the theory that counter plans solves uh, none of the app because the problem is with the score differential with the predictive ability paradigm where you have to rank students in the first place, which is that we end with the SAT and we also solve back for the root cause of the unneoliberal and educational system, which recreates the failed system and the third is meritocracy. The counter plan feeds them with the meritocracy and synthesizes educational system by telling minors you couldn't see before because the uh, because the, uh, the, the grades were against you, but now you can because you have the SAT and objective metric, which ignores the structural factors that go into five pounds of the nation alone to rise to the vast the time between every advocacy no shit you've been like, because we have to get the capital and test one since the SAT doesn't solve for equality and trades off uh, with class and nurture. You can see more crisis as a uh, first many poor my minorities to make them feel like they're failures. The test allows them to do something else in school. How does giving a test to a poor kid when the results of the SAT are strongly correlated with income? How does uh, giving a test make any difference? Mark the card a difference. The diss that it's morally repugnant. You should reject it. Okay, since the poor people shouldn't go to uh, colleges because they can't afford to pay their debts. This is terrible. Colleges have things like financial aid programs for this exact reason. Also, no impact economic decline prefers statistical and empirical evidence. It was about the uh, 17 under economic and crisis states more exit uh, more and controlling for uh, important uh, certain things. Parts of our strategy uh, self restraining to assure the party partners that uh, uh, similar economic troubles under crisis. The uh, uh, government leaders fear uh, re re repercussion uh, when they cannot afford when they afford to trade with institutions and run monitoring and uh, facilities to uh, coordination and the uh, move, move, move to protect the industries that uh, trigger similar moves in global crisis and uh, trigger increased mechanisms and then into the legal rule. Hard times are uh, hard times doing more, not less interna inter international cooperation and solving growth solves extinction. Economic class decoupling is impossible even under perfect conditions. The truth is right. Dangers are over hectic. 18. Ecological breakdown so it leads to more station of vision. Uh, vision and insect populations are driven by growth. And, uh, which is blowing past the, the planetary boundaries. The uh, major, major empirical studies of the rise of the same conclusion comes to the natural resources with a uh, rise to 180 billion metric tons of the uh, 2050 seasonal level is a uh, 50 billion of recognition and immediately uh, adopted the best practices engine would hit the roof with 93 billion ambition of uh, efficiency of the economy kept drawing with itself in 95 billion the UN were results of 132 billion each to use uh, that to miss the uh, assumptions resource efficiency is currently uh, it is currently getting worse bringing out uh, uh, civilization back with the planetary boundaries we're probably able to liberate ourselves from economic growth starting with rich nations. I just didn't read the last sentence.
uh, the order is the the SAT for all parent plan, the decided quickly, um, then case. I'm going to go for the case terms of the counter plan. Here are a couple of each framing issues when you vote negative one. We don't have to win the standard tests are perfect, but rather that they're the best way of remedying the inevitable equities in the system. Two, the one error said a lot of fear-mongering stuff about, oh, our studies might be biased, but the, the entire debate, there has not been a single statistic or number that is coming out of the one AC, which means if I explain our studies and why they're good, you should be very comfortable voting negative. Well, voting negative. Don't allow any new Twitter or extrapolations of their studies since I don't have any three, I don't have any three in our recourse. The counter plan, the counter Plan solves plans solves our inequities. The large source of inequalities in the data can be attributed to the fact that if students can't afford to take the SAT as many times as the richer students, I even get a basketball, they can't retake it, but the F solved by the by the, this counter plan solves that by making it free so they continuously can keep taking taking it and gaining practice on it. So, second, it makes it so that it's a man, it's mandatory to be instituted in all the schools. So everyone has the ability to take the PSAT that and taking the PSAT has shown to have an empirical boost in their, their scores. Our, we have empirical support for our evidence in multiple states including Michigan and Illinois, Colorado, etc., have all implemented our policy and have shown greater increase in, in, in diversity, which outweighs all of their super blippy framing warrants, but line by line, then one, it's not one of their predictive, there's no impact to the, so there's no impact to pred predictive bad, because there was no external impact in coming out of the app talking about why it's bad to categorize people, it was like based off of it, and colleges need to let in people somehow, so they'll have to use some alternative metric. Two, the neolib stuff doesn't apply because the app can't solve for all of that was established coming out of 186x3. This is a meritocracy that I'll answer on case that the conduct quickly. Conduct, it's good. One, logical policy making. Winning the plan is better than the counterplan. Doesn't logically reform because the plan can still be worse than the quo. Two, it's gear switching. It's designing learning about multiple options to make the strategic choice for one of whatever is strategically valuable to teach and negotiate skills that apply in the rule of three. And next, rather, after this infinite crunch for conditional advocacy because I have to prove that are less desirable than my advocacy alone. Multiple previous means that they get that strategic flexibility from test to test it from different angles. So, conduct, see, test app in the same way. They're, they're off their arguments once skews are inevitable. So due to T, procedural speed differentials, etc. Two, there is just a conditional which non needs a violation that you can choose to not go for to do bad in the two which means that all the time is spent answering it. And three, cross apply all of the reasons why reasonability is good coming out of the T flow because it crowds a substance. Um, the uh, the Oh, oh, the final card about SAT for all. I'll explain how that card, I'll, the SAT for all card that they were bad card read it does not assume our counterplay. It said it talks about why things like tutoring would be bad, except for the really counterplay makes up for it because it allows for students to take the SAT as many times as they want, and they get mandatory training and preparation beforehand. The uh, the the said. I'm extending the counter plan at the top, which was, was to print, 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 like, print a quadrillion dollars and circulate to the economy, which not the XD debt, so they can't go for it. Uh, uh, case. Colleges are witnessing an upward trend to more diverse at classes. That was the one in C. Kunzel and Stackett, which was a uniqueness card, which was not, it looked at 110 and over 10, 100,000 students and found that both test optional and mandatory schools saw a positive increase in diversity. That outweighs all of their warrants because it's a comparative analysis between test optional, test optional colleges and colleges that don't take any. It also outweighs on sample size because they have not offered anything whatsoever. Sample size comes first because it can correct like outliers. If they have if after certain things like outliers, Etc. This is all, the de but the app will de to decimate any shot of equity in the applications process. One is GPA research over the course of the past decades across millions of students found that grade inflation has occurred in upper class and private schools, whereas the average GPA has barely budged in lower income public schools. Teachers in affluent districts have an apparential pressure to give kids higher grades in a wealthier school to offer more challenging weighted courses. Private schools have adopted new grading methods to artificially elevate the quality of their students. What is he? Melter cites Anderson and uh, Andover and Pinkade, which grade on numeric scales, for example. Tests are much better in objective. 
subjective sense, subjective factors like if extra credit and parents lobbying for tests heavily rigged and heavily influences their reliability too, or extracurriculars because the holistic review leads to an over reliance on extracurriculars, which is infinitely worse because sports like clubs, soccer require heavy membership fees, and even debate requires traveling and coaching, extraordinary expenses that lower income kids can't afford. Three, it's essays that have personal statements with supplication questions go through private process of reviews at private schools, which people at public schools don't have. And four, a decreased access to aid claim, which was conceded millions of aid is dedicated towards applicants with, with net higher scores. It's a necessary prerequisite since people will drop out of college if monetary pressures if they can't afford it. I'll answer the test bads warrants right now. First is tutoring. Test prep companies massively overstate the potential gains through prep and analysis of over 4,000 students controlled for prior scores. Found that preparation's impact was 14 points for math and 4 for verbal. Most increases over time are attributed to retaking the exam, which the counter blends also because it removes the cost barriers and mandates that people have to practice. Additionally, the College Board also also offers pre prep free prep through Khan Academy, which solves it too. Is their bad questions claim? This is literally a joke. If you think that getting rid of, if you think that getting a couple of words that could be a, a bad in the SAT is worth structurally disadvantaging a bunch of kids that cannot get into college absent standardized exams, they, uh, by all means vote affirmative. But they've also conceded the claim that there's literally no impact because when kids are taking an exam, they're much more focused on passing the exam as opposed to certain as opposed to whether or not they'll cloud the questions are worded. But they're their cards now. The shift argument. They, they the shift argument. They of course they have to rank people because they have to inevitably let people in. I answered the why the shifts are good. They it's not non-unique because they've conceded the uniqueness card coming out of the one and see the alternatives better. The card doesn't cite what alternatives are. What are non-cognitive measurements? Uh, things colleges turn to would be things like GPA, extracurriculars, etc. Their last card is about they also non-cognitive measures aren't used now. So they, and all, they're like non, they're better. Their GPA discrepancy card is not about whether or not they have higher minority kids have higher. GPAs, but just with a relation of the SAT scores to their GPA, which doesn't prove whether or not they have a whether that a more competitive GPA. So you should default the negative on the question of statistics, as we read evidence showing that a massive grade inflation uh, has been like statistically observed in like higher schools. Well, is it counterintuitive or one condo? Uh, I just said condo is good. Uh, so colleges have been witnessing an upwards trend in diversity across the board. The order is the case and the counterplan.
good? The status quo is unsustainable. Current college admissions constantly force to create, re recreate inequality and economic disparities and racial disparities. Only the affirmative solve. They can see that colleges won't shift to worse methods. That's our payment evidence that indicates that the SAT is a part of the parasol of a system of idealistic imagined meritocracy. Even if you don't think it's the best argument, they have conceded that there's an anti-testing movement building up in the status quo, which spills over and changes and changes and reshapes the whole college admissions process. Their whole argument about why a shift to something worse is inevitable uh, ignores the fact that the, the anti-testing movement is building up in the status quo and college admissions shape values that the people set for the rest of the country. It spills over and destroys the paradigm that we must find an objective ranking for students in the first instance in college. It's adopted a comprehensive holistic review. Every We have impact on every single shift argument they've gone for. It is good because every alternative is better than the status quo, the, the, than the SAT. The SAT is uniquely bad because of its predictive ability paradigm that can accurately capture the future potential or aptitude of other students. They've said that there's no impact to this, but the idea that your intellectual level when you're 13 is the same for your rest of your life is bad and something that you should reject, which fosters inequality and prevents any marginalized group from getting job post-graduation. This paradigm sets up the myth of the education system that is meritocratic and individualistic, which gets weaponized due to, uh, and, do, and denies inequalities the line by line. They, uh, they're stacking in Kunitz and they say this is a unique disclaim. No, it's not. It's in context of test, test optional, which is proving that when colleges are using less and less SATs, they are increasing diversity, which proves that it's uniqueness for us and a reason why the world of the affirmative is better. They say that our numbers and our statistics are good. Google Sack and Kunitz uh, they're literally paid by the testing industry to write these articles and inflate these statistics, even if you don't want to buy these epistemological indices, they have they have conceded that there's no offense. These are just non-unique arguments because all of these holistic methods are using the status quo. You should judge this debate through lens of is as a, is the use of standardized test good or bad. The fact that it has produced and reproduced racialized outcomes is the reason why it should be rejected on face, even if the app isn't the perfect idea. It is a step in the right direction to spill over towards a broader a broader movement. Now it's just a question of the a case versus the counterclaim, which we're going to beat them on because they're behind on some critical questions. The first one, the meritocracy argument. They say that to one AC process proves that we don't solve for all of capitalism. No, this was about interventions. We do solve for capitalism. Meritocracy is critical to explain away the failings of capitalism. Like when people don't get jobs or get turned down, it's because they didn't work hard enough or they didn't pull themselves up by the bootstraps. By critiquing this meritocratic logic, we can bring about the end of capitalism, but only we can address the root cause of this inequality within the college admissions process and post uh, and post like and post graduation. They can see they fail to address the root cause because the SAT is propped up by the neoliberalist testing industry which necessitates its survival and all reforms will inevitably fail. This is outlined in evidence and an empirical example from the Green 16 card which talks about why marginalized students hate taking the test because it constantly reaffirms their failure. Their argument is no, but it won't happen this time because uh, they can take as many practice tests as they want, but that is not our argument. Our argument is that the test is fundamentally designed to push them to the bottom, uh, to push them to the bottom, and they wouldn't take these tests because they hate doing it. It also trades off with in-class school time, which is another reason why you should reject it and solves none of the predictive ability paradigm stuff on the case.